video I'll be walking you through how to create, view, download and send out draft invoices. So first off to create let's go ahead under invoices and draft screen. Click on new draft invoices at the top. Select the required client and matter from the list. Users can also filter the list down from all clients, all matters, my matters or responsible timekeeper. Invoices will only get generated for clients and matters that don't already have an invoice generated against them. In other words, unbilled entries. I'm going to leave this as all. And then we have the billing category. So you can choose whether or not this generates invoices for a specific billing category. These categories are created under Client, Settings and the Billing Categories tab. So you'll only see this if you have some created. And then we have the date range. This is the date range that the entries are created and the ones you want to include in the invoice. Leaving this blank will allow you to bill as far back as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this blank. And then we have the invoice date. This is the date to generate the invoice on. This will default to the current date. And then you can choose to include matter billing arrangement, which means whatever settings are at the matter level. So this means under clients, clients and matters, the matter name, the invoice settings tab and the billing arrangement field. This will determine how the draft invoice is created. So for example, if the settings at the matter level specifies expenses only upon selecting matter billing arrangement here, you will only generate an invoice for expense entries. If there are any clients and matters with split billing projects attached to them, you can select this checkbox to split those entries. But we generally recommend that you do not split the entries for the invoice in the first draft. That means to say to review the draft invoice first, make any edits if necessary to the time and expense entries, void the draft invoice and issue it again with the split checkbox selected here when you are confident that the entry details are correct. This is to make it easier for you to view the invoice and make any necessary changes easily. If you split the invoice and need to make edits, you will have to retrace your tape steps back and undo split entries first. So first off, let's take a look at the status column. So we have these different symbols. If there is this I symbol, it means that this draft invoice is currently opened by a user and is being viewed. The pencil icon means that this has been edited once before. And if there is a tick, this means that the invoice review is completed. There's a checkbox under each draft invoice where you can select invoice review complete. And then we have the split column here. So the minus symbol means that the matter is part of a split billing project but has not yet been split. And then we have the plus cycle meaning the draft invoice which is a part of a split billing project has been split. And then we have the invoice delivery method. So printer means that this will download a PDF of the invoice. Email means we will email a copy of the invoice to the client and we'll CC the firm's address. And auto mail means time solve will send a mail out for you. Time solve charges $1.49 per piece and additional postage as required. No return mailer will be included and invoices on auto mail will be sent out just before 5 o'clock central time. And please note that delivery method checkbox are selected by default depending on your invoice settings at the individual matter level. Any changes made on this screen here will only be effective for this single invoice. If you want to save these settings for all future invoices for a specific client or matter, visit under clients, clients or matters, the matter name and the invoice settings tab. Now you may see a document icon in this blank space here if you have the matter client matter details as consolidated this will allow you to view a summary of the invoice and then we have the magnifying icon which allows you to preview the invoice without having to download it
and then we have several methods in which you can download invoices so for single invoice downloads these icons at the far end are useful otherwise for multiple downloads select whichever ones you want to download and up here at the top you can download from here this is the most useful way for multiple invoice downloads now to send the invoices out you're going to want to hit send over here from the top of the screen I'm gonna go and send these out and since we had printer selected the invoices are ready for download from here and there is one that has caught an error so if you click on the yellow triangle here it will tell you why the error occurred so we had an invoice with unsplit entries so we cannot send this out until we've split the entries so I'm going to in this instance also show you how to avoid a draft invoice I'm going to click on this at the top here click on void and you have gotten rid of the draft invoice now and it's been voided and reverted back to just being unbilled entries